So I landed in Portugal just a few days ago and I had a whole list of videos to film out here and this was not one of them. So if you've ever wondered if you've got the wrong driver in the bag right now, then this video could have a lot of answers for you. You see, this video came about by chance or certainly coincidence. And it was in fact a consequence of the content that I've been filming over the past few days. You see, two days ago, I filmed an episode of a new series that we're looking at, which is testing the tips. And the tip involved focusing on your tempo, slowing down your swing speed to make sure that you got more ball speed with less effort. I then filmed a review of a driver with an unusually light shaft in it. Now you're going to have to bear with me on this one because there is literally a little bit of a backstory to fully understand what it's worth hanging on in there. I'm at Quinta de Ria this morning and I've also got to say just how good this golf course is. It uh, came here yesterday when the sun was shining and oh my word this place looks superb. Anyway back to the story. One in the opening hole it's a par five i'm going to try and it's a hybrid down and this has got nothing to do with the story yeah we're in position right so the coincidence was that the driver i used to film the tip video and well the combination of the two tip and driver worked incredibly well and the first thing i'd ask you to do is make sure you go and check out that tip video because that could be key to unlocking a lot of what i'm about to suggest so here is where the problem started be right sit down ball that is one tough pin that's the pitch mark and this is where I slid away to. You can see that's a severe slope. But anyway, back to the problem. You see, the following day, I went out on the golf course and I adopted the same principles from the tip video, all about my tempo, into my swing with my, my normal driver, my Stealth HD with my 55 gram stiff shaft. Can we start off with birdie? No, we can't. And the problem was, things didn't go anywhere near as well as they did the previous day with the different driver in hand. So initially, I just assumed I simply just wasn't on it the same as I was the day before. But then I started to wonder if by adopting the theory from the tip video, and that was all about slowing down my swing and concentrating on tempo, had it meant that the driver shaft that I had in my current stealth was actually too heavy and too stiff and maybe it was the combination of the ultra light shaft and slowing down my tempo that was actually key and got me questioning have I got the right driver in the bag or certainly the right shaft. And to be quite honest with you, oh my word, that's some big carry, it's super straight, my tempo was slow, and a combination of these two has not failed me in the past two days since. So for me to play my best golf, swinging at the correct tempo, controlling that club head, and being more efficient, would that mean, like I said, that I've got to change into a different shaft? because from what I've seen over that past few days, and just wait until I tell you how light this shaft is, there could be a significant change underway. We've had a good start this morning because that's right on the flag if the yardage is right. Bounce. Oh, first bounce and then a little bit of a pop back. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses, Quinta da Val, Quinta da Ria and Quinta da Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option. Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. 
the nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is shot at Quinta da Ria, which I can only describe as a hidden gem on Portugal's Algarve. As you can see, some stunning views of the ocean and plenty of water to avoid. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. Well, that was a bit unlucky because if we get to the top of the rise, we gather to the, uh, to the hole, but as such, we've popped back. And now it's a little awkward one. Anyway, it's another chance for birdie. Roll out ball, I've got it, I think. Oh my word, good effort and anyway, back to the dilemma. My driver shaft, as I've pointed out, is 55 grams stiff. Pretty much what I play in uh, every driver I've had for the last, I don't know, 10 years, let's say. I'm pretty much standard for my swing speed. The weight of shaft in this driver, if you've watched my recent reviews from out here, is 36 grams. Now I've only ever heard of a 36 gram shaft in sort of either seniors or ladies golf clubs. And even then it seems ultra lightweight. So it seems really weird, first of all, that there's any chance of that shaft working in my hands. But trust me, it does. And with that combined tempo video, which I really urge you to go and watch, then there is a big change possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I've also had success with my current driver in hand with that slower swing speed and tempo, but in terms of consistency, it has definitely been much improved with that lightweight shaft. You're going to give me that. So if you can do me a favour right now, uh, just put down in the comments section below as a little bit of a survey. I want to know what is the weight of your current driver shaft and also the flex? because I'm guessing nobody out there has got anything like a 36 gram driver shaft in place right now. Seriously, I'm driving the ball so straight out here. That is centre stripe in the fairway. I'm absolutely delighted. That is a 36 gram, sta uh, a 36 gram shaft that I am using right there. It blows my mind. My tempo is good and it's important that it is good because there is also a potential huge negative to this. And I'm not suggesting for one minute that everybody swaps out of 55, 60 gram stiff shafts and jumps into 36 gram reg because the likelihood is I still don't know whether that's something I would do, but I would also guess there are a lot of average golfers that have got shafts in their drivers in particular which are far too heavy and making the game very, very difficult for them. And somewhere in between this and that 55 in my case could provide a valuable solution. But I did say there are potential issues to be aware of. I'm going to talk to you about what the issues are. And the issues are the weight of the shaft and the tempo of your swing. So they were the two positives. Now they've become the potential two negatives. Let me explain. But before we go any further, let me show you this shot from yesterday from this exact same tee position when the sun was shining. This is the 12th tee box and oh my word, what a location this is at Quinta de Ria. Anyway, tempo and weight of shaft. Well, the thing is, if you go after this in terms of increasing your tempo, then this very light shaft can have a bit of a negative impact on the way things are delivered through impact. And that is the fact that in terms of torque and twisting, the likelihood is, and what I've seen is when I've gone a little bit more aggressive, is that I can hit a left in here. So the chances are that club head is just getting ahead of me a little bit. And that's important. Now, I said it's a negative, but it's also a positive. Very confusing this, because what it does, it basically insists that you concentrate on tempo. And that is all I've done in the past few days, to be honest with you. And I've really drove the ball solid out here on the Algarve. And that thing has been, like I said, go and watch the tip videos because they're flying right now. Everybody is uh, really enthusiastic about what we're putting out right now. And me personally, I've learned a heck of a lot. But the tempo thing has been massive. And what I do know, like I said, is when I start to get 
a little bit more confident and a little bit more aggressive in the swing then that's when things go wrong so it just tells me that I've got to keep that tempo down and make sure I concentrate on that quality of strike for some great efficient ball striking anyway not a sunny today but I'm going to hit a last drive and see if we can finish off on a positive with this tempo and shaft combination oh do you know what i'm i'm chuffed to be honest with you because um that's another middle of the fairway and to be honest with you chances are i've maybe dropped off a little bit in terms of distance but the all important key thing for me in terms of playing golf is about finding the middle of the fairway first of all off that tee it's a great feeling and confidence builds from that as well in terms of your game so like i said great combination for me all this came about by coincidence and it will certainly get me asking questions and i hope it may be asked questions of what your setup is as well i'd never suggest anyone's got something wrong but i would always try and question your setup just have a look at that shaft you've got in play right now and maybe see what your swing speed is if you know it and then question whether or not you could go a whole lot lighter and what it might do and if you get the opportunity to try it out at a custom fit center i would urge you to do so and when you do don't get too aggressive with your swing try and keep that tempo nice and calm right that's me done for another video here and the algarve courtesy of glencore golf we've had a great few days and um, i'm going to continue filming a few more videos before we return home tomorrow right thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow night